Kaluma, which means in Aramaic language, the identity of God in my humanity. He was God and man. Second, he was able to love those who were disobedient. The faith of Allah has great difficulty with disobedience. You must obey before you get anywhere. But with Jesus, he loves sinners, even the disobedient, and he died for sinners. While they were still disobedient, while they were sinners, he died for them. Third he is able, he is able to give new birth. And without new birth, new birth. you can't change anything in humanity. You'll just be the same from life to death, unless there's an interchange by the Holy Spirit of God. Fourth reason, he gives the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit in your life, you'll never be holy. You'll try to be better and you might get better, but you'll never be holy. And the fifth reason, you'll never be resurrected. You'll never live again for eternity unless unless you have Jesus as your Savior. This gentleman before me has been putting those points. When Paul went to Athens amongst the learned Greeks, he said, I tell you about the resurrection. They said, we listen to you again. But the resurrection is a vital truth. If Jesus rose from the dead, we're right. If Jesus didn't rise, we're wrong. But Jesus did rise, and the whole church of Christ worldwide is a church of the Easter story. Jesus is risen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And there's one of our best. The third heritage. Answer the question, how do you know that? When Billy Graham was asked, how do you know there's a God? He said, I was speaking to him this morning, and I read a wee bit from his book this morning, and I spoke to him this morning. What about Prophet Muhammad? What about Prophet Muhammad? Prophets are very good, but there's not a lot of prophets. If you can't raise the dead, test your God by whether you can raise the dead. Has, has Allah raised anybody from the dead? Jesus Christ raised Lazarus, he raised the widow of Nain's son, he raised another man, and he himself rose from the dead. Resurrection is the keystone of the reality of the Godhead. If you can't have a God that raises the dead, think it over carefully. Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet. It's true. How do you mean how? I can't tell you how. I'm not God. How the dead are raised? How will you believe it? How the out when Jesus comes back? You believe it. You believe it, my friend, but you can't back it up with anything. I can't back it up. I am a different person, born again. This word works. It works. If I was if I was an engineer, I would buy into Christianity quickly because it's a thing that works. Many and most Only in your mind it think works. About Jesus it makes you feel better. It works. Yeah. And that's Listen, it. Not listening. Quran is supersedes all before books. Final book. The, the idea of Islam is that the newest thing is the best. And that is a very good thing, but I don't believe that's always true. I believe well, that, that isn't antiquarian either. things, old cars and veteran cars are very good. And you know there's a sense in which the Bible is ancient and it also has many millennia behind it, right back to Adam and includes all the prophets. The Quran is a more recent volume. It's an interesting volume. I have a very good commentary on it, the best commentary I think there is in English. Only prophet Muhammad is the last prophet. Final. No prophet will come there are many till the day of today. Not today. Before him. Before him. Before him. him. But what does he prophesy? Does he prophesy resurrection? Well, let yes. me tell you does the many many resurrection. No, let me tell you the beauty of Islam. That the beauty of Islam, let me believe. All right. The, the God is, you believe the God is compassionate, don't you? God is compassionate. God is compassionate. God is compassionate. But compassion must go, to, must go to the nth degree. I believe in compassion, but only the compassion that can reach me through the cross. Compassion that has commitment, that will commit itself to die for me. That is real love. If somebody will die for me instead of getting a sword and killing me, if he will die on my behalf because he loves me, that's compassion. I believe that. That's the real compassion. Don't tell me about compassion when you take a sword and cut a man's head. That's not compassion. That's hatred. That's real hatred. The love that will be crucified for men and die for them. That's God's real compassion and deep love. God so loved the world he gave his son. That's real love. Yes. Take it from me. You're not better that kind of love. You're never better.
Keep going. You? Keep going. I'm 75 years of age, and praise God, for 60 years I've followed Jesus Christ. You said He's never failed me. He loved me, and He loved you. He'll take you. What age are you? What age are you? You ask me. Tell me. What age are you? 50. Well, He'll take you now. He's ready to take you as a sinner, and He'll save you and change your life. You can be born again. What a change that will make in your life. And you need it. You really need it because you're questioning my gospel. So you do need Jesus very much. And I go, okay. Does he need Jesus? Yes. I think he does. Oh, oh, Jesus. Nice to see you no, again. Jesus. I saw you some years ago. Don't look you're away. Got a good text. Jesus Christ is God appearing Why in the flesh. And he reigns in heaven Why now. Don't you That's the thing yeah. with you. Okay. You're not finished with uh, you me. You said compassion is. You believe in God. You. God I God. believe in compassion going That's to the cross. Me. You say you are God died for me. Is that Not what my God, the God. Jesus Christ died for me. He died for me. He died for all sinners and you're a sinner. That's what I'm saying. Well, you, you are God died for me. I don't, I have no proof you're a sinner, but I hope I'm right in saying it. So you say you are God died for us. That's a question. That means we are VIP and your God is a small. God bless you. We die for our country, for our leaders. Why? Because they are important. So you say you are God died for me. That means I'm more than him. That is great. That makes sense. There's a foolish logic going around these days. It's, not that it's very obvious that the one who created the universe That's why wanted it to be perfect. He wanted God. sinners to be saved. He wanted to make them pure and holy. He wanted to give them the Holy Spirit to make that possible. He could only save them by dying for them. He could only make them holy by giving them the Holy Spirit. He had to do that. There's no other way to do it. So he did it. So God's a good engineer. He knows how to do what he wants to do. I will show you you are naive. Despite your age. Well, you know, you have to respect the age, boy. Because you are <laughs> young lad. When you are grown, you should be, be, here, but I have you should to be a wise when you grow old. Yes. Christianity. Well, I, I hope I'm wise because to believe in Jesus Christ is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And I have been very, very really concerned about my soul's salvation and I've trusted Christ and that's important. A boy who was he was in Egypt as a refugee. What's your testimony? My testimony is Jesus was a boy refugee in Egypt. Yes. No, your testimony. He's telling you his. My testimony is What's yours? That Jesus was a human being. No, yours. He was a refugee Not in Egypt. Jesus, your testimony. He told you what happened to him. What happened to it you? That's no defi definition of testimony or to or your God. Your life. He's telling you a witness to Jesus. I'm a simple witness. Just like John the Baptist said. I'm nothing, but he is everything. Yes. He is God the Son. No, that's what he's asking you. You're lying. Oh, wonderful thing. That's against the Bible. It's not against the Bible. Jesus. In, in Matthew chapter 16, Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, Thou sayest it, God himself revealed it to you. So Jesus believed he that's was, why. and he affirmed it that's himself. That's why I call you Peter naive. Said, how you said, I have told you, you don't, don't tell to the Son of God. God. But you are not a faithful witness to the Son of God because you don't believe you God has Muslims, a Son. Whenever they speak that properly, how we say Jesus Your God, book is telling us another story, but it's not and that story you are quite entitled to believe. I read that book as well. I have a copy, but it's not correct. It's why I must say, I've got my wife, we're going to stop and go home shortly, so I've got to go like my friend, but God bless you and may you trust Jesus. I come from Africa. When Jesus was a refugee in Egypt, what do you call it? There's so many Africans. Are you saying your God was a refugee? Was a man from Ethiopia. And he found Jesus Christ. Answer my question. According to Matthew, and he believed he believed in Jesus Christ and led many to I don't to care Christ. what you believe. The Ethiopian eunuch, an African, another African bore the cross of Jesus Christ because he fell on the ground and he carried that cross. And Jesus loves Africa and he's bearing their burdens today. And I hope that other nations will too because it's important to care about Africa. The question is, when he was in Egypt as a refugee, do you believe your God was a refugee 2,000 years ago? I believe that he was... Jesus Christ was sent to Egypt for a So your God was sent by someone. He was sent to Egypt. Joseph took him, Mary took him to Egypt. He was a baby because in humbleness he came to die for us. In humility he went to the cross. He humbled himself and became obedient to death because he loved us. What a love. What a savior. The Christian Arabs, the Christian Arabs that believe
believe what you believe and believe in a Trinitarian God. They say Allah, but you say Allah is not God. But the Christian Arabs say Allah, I don't want to be a Christian. I don't only believe in El Shaddai or Allah, which means I want. I believe in I love him. I believe in what's called the Kanuma, the identity of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Fifteen times in the New Testament, it refers to the Kanuma, which is the basis of the Trinity, the one identity of God, three spirits in one identity. Just the Spirit of the Father, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, all identity. Where, where is that in the beginning of Genesis? Identified it. Where is that in the beginning of Genesis? The Word is with God, that's, that's the, body was word, the, the Word was God, and the, and the Word is God. Well, where is it say Holy word, Spirit, Jesus, word and God? Is logos in Greek, but it's word. amnos as well. And in, in Aramaic it means the Lamb and the Word, the speaking one who created, and the one who died for us as well, the Lamb. It's the same, very, just the no, same no, word in Arabic. No, no, no. So, so he's a God lamb. But you he's see, a lamb who's victorious. He's the creator lamb. He's the one who came that we might well, be you saved. still haven't answered my question. Why the Christian Arabs who believe what you believe, they believe in a Trinitarian God, perfectly exactly what you said, they believe exactly what you believe, but they say Allah. And in the Christian Bible, look, I go down Edra Road, a Christian like yourself will give me a Bible in Arabic, or this is my beard, and it's in Arabic, Allah. Jesus is everywhere, the son of God. It says Allah, it says Allah. Why? I'm not going to spit hairs, but I know that a Christian mission has been Simple, taken up Allah. by many other agencies because it uses the word Allah for Elohim and El Shaddai. In fact, Allah just means a high one, a great one. So the Jews but, say but basically, I don't just believe in a great person out there. I believe in the loving and wonderful creator. Not just a great, you can say a great tree, a great fish, a great anything, but I don't believe just in greatness. I believe in holiness. I believe in purity. I believe in, in, in salvation. I believe in love and all those things in God, not just great. Did Jesus wash his feet? It's easy to say, God is great. Did Jesus but it's far, far more wonderful to be able to say, God gave his son, he died in my place. He loved me so much. That's what I want to say. Did Jesus want to say a loving God. Before he prayed. Did the disciples wash their feet before they prayed? Do you do that Jesus, in a church? Jesus washed when you walk into a church, do you wash your feet Many before you churches pray? No, you don't. Many you wash your feet? feet? No, you don't. You don't even have a bath. You're praying in the toilet. You're lying in the bath and you're yeah, praying in the toilet. Th th this Come on, is, man. This is just taking holes. Small no, no, no. holes. You don't into follow Jesus. Jesus. If you do that with your feet or with your arms or hands, that's up to you. It's not Christianity. Basically, the basic thing is to be in your way to thank God. Thank God he was circumcised. To follow his attributes and bless him. God was circumcised, and none of them are circumcised. Yeah, Abraham circumcised old people. Circumcision, one, I was yeah. here about a year he ago, and they were arguing on Isaac. to the remove the attribute. face about circumcision. It's an attribute. He's done something. Well, oh, surely he's yeah. the body. Well, he's an act that sets the body. Surely it's a blessing for you when you do what Jesus did. Yeah, 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 you should do that. Don't eat meat. Most Muslims want to eat pig, man. He didn't drink. It's There's nothing bacon. wrong with it, but it doesn't no, actually entitle you to get there to heaven. Go, there you go, it doesn't Lord save Lord. your soul. No food about, he said there's right? no use right. for salvation. It's not just to do anything to please God and for your salvation. Did you keep the commandments? Yeah. I the Ten Commandments from commandments. Moses. Did you keep it? But no man did you can abolish keep them perfectly. It? Jesus said no did man. Did you keep or did you abolish it? Do you keep them? We keep it. We follow to the Ten Commandments. You never keep them. You can't the keep them. In your we thoughts. don't eat pork. Love we don't pull it your heart. We don't drink alcohol. What do you do? do we circumcise. We keep the Sabbath. You do. What do you do? In other words, you don't keep the Sabbath. What do you do? You're trying to be a good boy, but you're not a good boy. None of us are any boys in the family. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God, including you and me. Did your God forgive you the sins of the past? The people in the past. No one's perfect. The the all have sinned and fallen short of the grace of God. No, no one's perfect. Even um, all the prophets, they sinned too. But they were forgiven. Their future sins were forgiven. Well, obviously, if there's sin, there has to be an answer to it. If the wheel comes after your car, off your car, you've got to have a way of getting it back on again. So God can put the wheel on the car again. He can forgive sinners. All and the there's a way. He just forgiven. can't be forgiven by him saying you're forgiven. He has to die. He has to be, make an offering for you. It has to be expensive. It's not just something that can be repeated and repeated and repeated. You can't get a heaven by being a sinner. You have to get a heaven by being a sinner. They're pre-forgiven. They're pre-forgiven. 
all the prophets, for every sin they did, they were forgiven already. All the prophets. So you're acting like God when you talk about that. You're talking to me. You can say, I'm forgiven, but you don't even know about me. I'm forgiven. You can say, you're forgiven. No, you're not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. You're not a prophet. All the prophets, I'm saying, were forgiven. Muhammad used to pray a hundred times for forgiveness, and his wife said, why are you praying for when you're also giving your future sins? Because you might be praying for your most powerful day. Muhammad used to pray. Muhammad used to pray. Muhammad used to pray. Muhammad used to pray. Praying does better than long time. God is not praying as Jesus said, Jesus answered that. You know, if you worship, what the problem is to humble yourself and repent of your sin and receive it. It cleans inside your body what you do not see. God bless you, and I know you enjoy taking those photographs. You've been doing it for a while, haven't you? You're looking good today. I'm going to have a rest now because the old voice, but I was singing yesterday. I sang for three hours. And you know, it was a bit of a long day. So I lost my voice and I don't want to lose it today again. I mean, I want to find it. I mean, it's great to meet you. No, I'm saying may the Lord save you. I'm sorry about this color. It's because we had to have this color in our choir. That's why I have to be wearing it. Great to see you and God bless you. And I'm finishing. Where's the.